Evolution 4 Venom Fang X. This video series is designed to show how each single part of evolution works in clear and accurate language. Part 1 is designed to show how you can use random trial and error to solve problems. Suppose your friend asks you to guess a number between 1 and 100. Your friend tells you that you can pick four numbers, and he will tell you which one is the closest. So, you pick four random numbers. 15, 78, 25, and 64. Your friend tells you that 64 was closest to the mystery number. Then your friend shows you a coin and a die. Now, you can pick four more numbers, he says. However, you cannot pick them yourself this time. Instead, you will flip a coin and then roll the die. The next number will be 64 changed depending on whatever is indicated by the coin and the die. What do you mean you ask? The coin will indicate whether 64 will be increased or decreased to create the new number. If you roll heads, it will increase. If you roll tails, it will decrease. He replies, the amount shown on the die will show by how much you do, as he says. The coin indicates tails, and the die shows 5. 64 minus 5 equals 59. Thus, 59 is the new number. You repeat this step for the remaining three numbers. The four numbers you have now are 59, 58, 66, and 61. Your friend tells you that 58 was the closest to the mystery number, and then asks you to repeat these steps until you find it. Your friend says that 51 was the mystery number. Why did you go to all this trouble you ask? Your friend replies, let me explain. The chances of guessing a number between 1 and 100 is 1%. In other words, it would on average take you 100 guesses to find the correct number. But because of the way this experiment was designed, it only had taken you 24. This experiment is a very simplified version of the primary mechanism that fuels evolution. Roughly, the numbers you guessed symbolize the organisms in an ecosystem. Each group of four numbers represents a generation of offspring. Selecting the number closest to 51 in the group of four represents natural selection. Finally, the variation of the numbers represents random mutation. While this does not prove evolution, it shows that when scientists discuss random mutation and natural selection, they are referencing a naturally occurring system of trial and error that is guided by survival of the fittest. I could have given you a more complex representation of evolution. I could have asked that instead of guessing a single number, you guess a sequence. Instead of giving 100 possible numbers to pick from, I could have given you 1000. Instead of only allowing a variation between negative 6 and positive 6, I could have allowed more complex variations, like a wider range or even the increasing or decreasing in size of the sequence. Instead of having fitness determined by the difference from 51, fitness could have been determined by a more complex, changing, and interconnecting process. In fact, this algorithm of trial and error is an algorithm used in advanced design computing and artificial intelligence. In this sense, evolution itself is a form of intelligence, or at least has some key similarities with intelligent systems. But that can wait for next time. See you around.